is a common misconception about how chiropractic adjustments or the technical term a spinal manipulation therapy works and the misunderstanding is that chiropractors somehow take bones that are out of place and they put them back into proper alignment and there is no evidence to support that that is what is happening with the spinal manipulation there is a lot of evidence in researchers that say that the spinal manipulation therapy does enhance the mobility and the function of the joints of the spine it acts as a way to provide pain management or pain relief for people in pain. Uh, it reduces muscle tension and muscle spasms around the joints of the spine, and it can help be a way to improve posture. Now, what I want to do in this video is talk about the science of how a spinal manipulation therapy does those things, and then also talk about how it can be such a valuable therapy for some people, but then for other people, it doesn't seem like it works quite so well. And I think understanding the science of how manipulation works will help us answer those questions and figure that out. So a spinal manipulation, it's a precise force into the joints of the spine with the goal to improve the mobility and the function of those joints. And then the result is those other things that I talked about, pain relief, reduced muscle tension around those joints, and again, overall and improved posture. And there are two, they, the researchers break this down into two different categories. They say there's a mechanical approach of what's happening within the joints, and then there's a neurological approach of what's happening uh, when you stimulate those ner certain nerve bundles around those joints. So let's talk about the mechanical approach first of what's happening. One idea is that it is resetting small internal structures within the joint. So within the joint, there's something called a synovial membrane. This is a soft cartilage type of a material. So it's on the, it's within the joint, but kind of on the outside within the joint, right underneath the capsules that hold the joint together. And they think that those can fold inward and get stuck within the joint itself. And when that happens, the spine or those joints, they feel stiff, restricted, or even locked up. And this is the case that happens sometimes when somebody slept funny on their neck. Maybe they did something where they turned and they felt, ooh, now I'm, I'm, I feel stuck. I feel locked up. I feel bound. And I don't move so well. And the idea is that the spinal manipulation therapy, as it opens up that joint, that you are freeing that obstruction, that restriction of that synovial fold. And then after the adjustment, and this is where people sometimes have this immediate relief. They, they get that adjustment and they're like, oh my gosh, I can move my neck so much better right now and there is less pain. Now, here's the interesting thing. And I, I talked about, I wanna help people understand why does it seem so magical for some people but not so much for others when they get an adjustment. And it turns out, that those synovial folds, there are different quantities and different sizes from person to person. So some people have more of these synovial folds that are just more susceptible to kind of binding up and getting pinched in there. So I think some people just have more of this propensity for this happening, whereas other people might not have that so much. And that might be one explanation of why some people Say, while wow, uh, chiropractors are so great, they, when I get that adjustment, I feel so much relief afterwards and some people not so much. Now, another way it might help improve the mobility and the function of the spine is breaking up adhesions. So researchers talk about this idea of it's breaking up adhesions. When this happens, it's not so much the internal structure within the joint and the movement in the joints of the spine. It's more of the collagen fibers on the outside of the joint or what they call the joint capsule. So collagen, that's the stuff that makes up tendons and ligaments, and collagen fibers are also abundant in the joint capsules that protect and bind joints together. People that are sedentary over a certain amount of time, they get very restricted, and that collagen kind of condenses and it gets, it gets very stiff and restricted. So chiropractic adjustments in these cases are trying to help to change the collagen so that they're a little bit more dynamic and they move better. This is usually not where people get the immediate relief and gratification compared to that first example. This is where somebody gets adjusted and they say, I feel better. Like no doubt about it. I have a little less pain. I think I'm moving a little bit better. But this is the case where some sessions combine close to each other, maybe once a week, um, a couple times per month, something like that. And then you do that for six, you know, seven, eight, nine sessions in a row. And that's where that person will say, wow, you know, over that time, now I've got 10, 15, 20 degrees, better range of motion. And now I do have less pain when I move my neck. 
And then the third mechanical explanation of how a spinal manipulation therapy works is that it improves the circulation in those deep structures of the spine. When you have improved circulation, you have more oxygen and glucose, which help tissues heal faster. So that kind of sums up the ideas of the mechanical approach. Now let's talk about the neurological resets. So some researchers say that we're stimulating these small microscopic nerve bundles in the joints of the spine. I call them the position sensors of the body. And let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. I can close my eyes and I can give you the thumbs up. I can kind of give you the peace sign. Um, I can do all of these things with my eyes closed because I know where my body is in space with my eyes closed because of these small little position sensors in the muscles, in the tendons and ligaments, and within those joints and those joint capsules. Stimulating those position sensors through things like deep tissue massage, myofascial release, and or a spinal manipulation acts as kind of a reset. That stimulation causes a reflex within the nervous system that can help reduce muscle spasms, but it also changes the pain pathways. It lowers, it, it changes the pain pathway so that people experience less pain and it can release things like endorphins um, that will help to override pain. So that's how it helps is pain management. Reducing the muscle spasm is a way to make the spine function better, more coordination, and it's another way to reduce the pain. Now, this seems to vary from person to person. Some people have more of a neurological reflex response with the spinal manipulation compared to other people. So again, there's another explanation of why some people will find spinal manipulation or chiropractors to be so valuable, whereas other people maybe didn't work so well for them. So now the reason I made this video is to try to give people an understanding, is spinal manipulation therapy or seeing a chiropractor something worthwhile for you, if that's something you're interested in or if that's why you're watching this video. So I hope that gave you some insight. Keep in mind when choosing a chiropractor though, because this therapy seems to work so well for some people, other people do need other therapies, things like physical therapy, things like soft tissue work or myofascial release. So when choosing a chiropractor, my recommendation would be find a chiropractor who in addition to doing the spinal manipulation therapy will maybe offer corrective exercises, physical therapy approach, offer soft tissue work and combine these therapies together. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please encourage me to make more videos to educate you. Uh, by liking this video, give us the thumbs up, especially if you subscribe to my channel, uh, you'll get more content just like this here. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer those questions for you.